Panasonic just released their latest firmware for the S1H, so let's take a look. Panasonic has rolled out updates for their S1 and S1R. Now it's the turn of their cinema counterpart. The most notable highlight of this update is that the S1H now supports raw output over HDMI. With firmware update 2.0 come a lot of improvements, so I want to go over the ones that I think are the most noticeable and welcome changes to the performance of the camera. I'm going to start with disabling the full press shutter button for video recording. Now you can turn off this feature to avoid accidental presses in between shots. The control panel is one of my favorite features in the S1H, and now you have access to my list and rec quality all from here. Before this update, the manual focus assist or magnification would go out with the HDMI output. Panasonic listened and now you can disable this feature. For the purpose of avoiding accidental deletions, you can now disable the touch control for the delete all operation. The other beneficiary to this update, besides S1H owners, is Sigma, with improved compatibility on their MC21 mount converters, including better image stabilization. And now the main reason why you're here. As of this update, the Panasonic S1H can now output RAW to the Atomos Ninja V. So what do you need to know before you get started? First, of course, you need to download and upgrade your S1H with firmware version 2.0. Second, Update your Ninja V with Atom OS 10.5 or higher. And make sure you have a fast enough SSD. In my case, the Angelbird Atom X SSD Mini. Both of these firmware updates are free, so click the links provided in the description. To activate raw output, go to video, then image format, then HDMI raw data output, and select on. In terms of sensor size, resolution, and frame rates, you will be able to output RAW with full frame in 5.9K 16x9 at 2997 and 2398 frames per second, with Super 35 in 4K 17x9 at 5994, 2997, and 2398 frames per second. Finally, with Super 35 anamorphic, in 3.5K anamorphic, 4x3 at 2997 and 2398 frames per second. When outputting RAW, the photo style on your camera will be set to VLOG, in which you can apply a preset Rec. 709 LUT. But just keep in mind that you can't use a custom LUT and you won't be able to record internally during the RAW output process. If you want to go over the full list of updates for firmware 2.0 on the S1H, check out the description down below. Don't forget to leave a comment and click the bell for more photo and video updates like this one. This is Fernando Martinez. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.